Impromptunes, 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 impromptu. Do you hear the people improvising? improvising? Good people of the world, thanks for tuning in to Impromptunes, the completely improvised musical podcast. Now here they are, the cast of Impromptunes. Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast. It is so good to be here. It's been a while since I've been in the studio. Yeah, and what a treat. <laughs> you, you. Uh, that would be Emma Nichols over there on the microphone one. And on microphone Hello. two, we have Morgan Phillips. You, you. How do you <laughs> I'm like... Emma Nichols. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that uh, audience insight into the that the microphones have numbers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yes, they do. So we can uh, edit. When I say we, I mean Morgan. Um, we also have David Peake on the keys. Hey, David. <laughs> uh, so it's very good to be here in the studio. And I want to give a big shout out to someone else today. And that person is Nathan Burgerbest. Now, Nathan is one of our brand new Patreons. And Nathan has gone above and beyond in his support of Impromptu. So we want to say thanks so much. Nathan, all your treats are on the way. And we're going to make up a song for you very shortly as well. Thank you, Nathan Burgerbest. You are the Burgerbest. <laughs> Forever our symbolic mic four. Yeah, yes. And if you, um, if you want to be the Nathan Burgerbest, you can also sign up and become a Patreon. Um, impassioned plea from the director here. When Nathan uh, became a Patreon, it filled my heart up with with joy. So thank you, Nathan, for uh, your generosity. You don't have. Uh, you may, may not realize what a big deal it makes to us financially, obviously, but also in the like vibe of hey, what we're doing matters to someone out there, and we don't know Nathan. So what a treat. Um, yeah, we've had lots of treats. We've just finished at Melbourne International Comedy Festival. We had a sold yeah, yeah. out run. We added extra shows. Yeah, yeah. So everything's coming up in prom tunes in this post-COVID world. Yeah, and what a delight to be in front of an audience again, right, Morgan? Oh, man, it was so much fun. I uh, had forgotten that I actually enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> what a time it's been. Yeah, it's, been yeah, it's not quite the same on the old Zoom Zoom. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Champagne Sundays kept us through lockdown there, but uh, yeah. A <laughs> lot more fun at the pod. obviously though. the pod is great, but uh, something about being in front of a live audience is uh, very special. Yeah, it's the applause boosting us up <laughs> <laughs> so if you're out there listening to this now, please make sure you give us a round of applause because it'll boost us from wherever, Maybe, wherever you are. Um, We're literally like fairies from Peter Pan. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe take a video of yourself applauding and then post it in the Impromptu <laughs> Secret Fan, fan Club <laughs> on Facebook. I actually love that idea. <laughs> if that happens, we'll we'll like your post. <laughs> Every single trip member, I guarantee it. Uh, anyway, if this is your first time listening to us, we are going to make up a completely improvised musical in a half an hour, a little uh, podcast podcast form. So we've got titles from you um, off the internet. They come from Instagram, Twitter. They come also from our website. We've had heaps yeah. since Comedy Festival coming through on our website, which is awesome to see. So whoa, we're gonna... whoa, hold the phone here. If we got a professional music theatre performer in the room, or well, what? Holly, whoa. where have you been? <laughs> I've been away. I've been doing The Wedding Singer, the musical, and I'm back in Melbourne. I don't know when this episode's going to come <laughs> yeah. out, but if you see it... <laughs> If it's around soon, go and see it, but otherwise you missed it. I, uh, yeah, we're going to um, Melbourne... Gold Coast, Goldie. <laughs> yeah, Goldie and Sydney. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm wearing a, a large assortment of outrageous wigs. So if they, for right. no other reason, come and buy right a ticket. She's wearing them now. <laughs> I'll just me. change them throughout the podcast <laughs> and you've just got to guess when that's happening. Um, Love that. Anyway, so if you hear a rustling of hair, you yeah. know. <laughs> You'll notice it in the increasingly surprised inflections in me and Emmett's voices. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of rustling, I'm going to put my hand into the bowl of destiny, rustle around and grab us a title. Uh, so here I go. Russell, Russell, Russell. Oi, oi, oi. And I'm picking out one now. And this one is Meet Me at the Cactus by Madeline Shaw. Uh, great. <laughs> I'm getting a nod. I, Emma told me that once that were Orange Week, we did a special call out for Perth related titles. <laughs> and uh, I was yeah. kind of expecting that to be Perth related, but it's not. And that's so. Maybe it is. I don't I know. I think it was from the Perth call out, yeah. I don't know of a lot of cacti in. Perth. But well, that's because you haven't been meeting the right people, Holly. Apparently not. Um, but Madeline Shaw, thanks so much for getting onto Facebook and giving us that title. Um, legendary. Legendary. Are you legendary. two legends ready? And the third legend, David P. <laughs> and the third legend. <laughs> the third legend. And of course, microphone four, Nathan Bergerbest. Yes, are you ready? Fourth legend. He's nodded. He's ready. Great. <laughs> um, humans of the world, we present for the first, last and only time, meet me at the cat. Lay a ride on 
in on their hussies And then they take on over the town It's a fearsome gang of killers That has ever been around They use whips and colors To keep the people in line They come around and they make sure That you're treating your lady fine <laughs> It's the Terrible Twelve, the Terrible Twelve Gotta hide from the Terrible Twelve It's the Terrible Twelve, the Terrible Twelve Gotta hide from the Terrible Twelve The Twelve Powerful Women And they make sure that you're doing right With eleven models to scream As they ride on through You better run and hide Because these female warriors are Amazons And they're representing feminist pride It's the Terrible Twelve, the Terrible Twelve You better hide from the the Terrible Twelve The Terrible Twelve, the Terrible Twelve You better hide from the Terrible, Terrible Twelve I suppose you're right. I haven't been treating Darla, but that's no reason to make me dance, ladies. There's your whip, and here's your collar. (laughs) I'll put it on myself. I've learned my lesson. Now, how do you treat a lady? With respect and chivalry. Always ask them, would you like this seat? And I've made you some eggs. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. And don't forget the last thing we always told you to say. Smoochy, smoochy, I love you, Chi. Smoochy, smoochy, I love, love you, Chi. Well, <laughs> deadly, <laughs> de- deadly dollar and fearsome friend, you're not gonna sh- kill me, are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. You've heard our live mottos, and now you're free to go and treat your dollar with respect. Smoochy, smoochy, I love you, Chi. I love you, Chi, both. Thank you for saving me. Well, well. that was an- another, day's w- another day's work done. Whew. Oh, boy, dollar. I mean, I. Every time we go into a town and we send another bad person into the good life, well, I just think about what a good life we're living. Well, if such a good life, riding across the deserts, seeing the sunsets, saving yeah. the peoples. <laughs> Do you ever think that maybe there's more people, bad people out there, we'll run out of bad people, you know? Do you ever think we'll run out of bad people to save? Then what would we do? Well, surely not, but... I don't know. I'd, I guess I'd feel lost without anybody to help out or cats to save from trees and whatnot. Yeah, Darla. I mean, this. Wh- why? Can you think of what you'd like to do, Fran? Oh. Every now and then, I, I think. Well, sure, this cowboy life is nice, but. I dream of owning a farm. A farm. Unlike any other A farm that could do a little bit of harm to Someone who came around A cactus farm for me A cactus farm for me Is what I believe in totally A cactus farm for me A cactus farm for me is what I believe in totally. Pew, pew. Now don't ever let me see you disrespecting your wife again. Ah, yeah. My eleven sisters in arms, they keep me going every day. And I know while I'm there, I'll come to no harm, but there's another dream whisking me away. A cactus farm, a cactus farm for me, it's what I believe in, a totally a cactus farm, a cactus farm, it's what I believe in. A 
cactus farm for me. Well, 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 looks like it's easy pickings tonight, ladies. Give me a bit of that rumpy pumpy. <laughs> Roger, get out of here. We've already had this conversation. You come in here every night being a lecherous piece of crap. Well, who's going to stop me? I'm master of the house. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. Me and my brother, Jim. Hey, I'm the other master of the house. Yeah, well. Rumpy, pumpy, (laughs) doodle, woodle. We are the masters of the owls. And I tell you what, I am the master of the blouse. <laughs> you think it's on, but then in a second, it is gone, and I just reckon I am the master of the blouse. I am the master of the owls. I want you to kiss me on my mouth. Ew. Come on, dearie, dearie, you know what I want. I'm the master, the master of a mouth. La 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 last is my thing. Ding 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 La 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 last is my thing. Ding 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 I love the way you look when you're looking the other way, cause I get to stare at that bootay. I love what you do when you're turning around too Because I just want to kiss you La 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 Is my thing La 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 Is my thing a ding 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 When you get cross with me It makes me happy to see you emote Wow and when you kick me out of the place, well, you know that gets my guy. La 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 la. In my thingy dingy 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 ding. Oh la 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 la. In my thingy dingy 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 ding. I am a Casanova. Move over if you want to be. Surprise! I'm a Don Juan. I'm gonna be fun. If you know that, you'll believe your eyes. I'm a statue la, 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 of David with a la, really la, la, much la, bigger la, la, penis. La, la, I'm la, la, a Cupid la, la, with la, 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 a scopid going for your arrow in your ass. La 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 la. la. It's my thing. Fran. <laughs> Darla. I've heard a terrible tale. Oh no. Have all the cactuses been eliminated? No. Oh, there's, phew. There's a house full of women who are being subjected to unbridled lust. Oh, Do you no. need me shooting Susie to take care of him? We might need to, but I think we need our top shooters, which is you, Fearsome Fram. Ah, what are they call me shooting Susie? <laughs> Because you shoot, but I hit. Ah, uh, yeah, shoot a lot. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, ow. All right, I'll My be... left leg. <laughs> I uh, got a wooden one anyway. <laughs> I will I'll be on scout duty. All these women just subjected to this every day of the week. Their blouses ripped. What? Their bootays looked at. It's too much to bear. I take back my few from earlier. Please don't tell me they make them turn around. <laughs> they do. No. And subject, subject them to Don Juan Stalins. <laughs> it's Don concerning. Juan? What about Casanova? That's right, that too. A statue of David? <laughs> <laughs> Especially the statue of David. Oh, no. For some fram, I know you were looking forward to retirement. I mean, those cactuses are looking mighty sweet, but you have to help one more time. One more job? One yes. more soul to set right? Except by the sounds of it, two more souls to set right? Two more, and then all the souls to set free as well. Well, One for me and one for you, surely, Darla. Well, one last ride, what do you think? I think. Well, I think. (laughs) Grab your pony, grab your hat, and go for a ride. You and me, we're gonna go into the night.
said, yeah, daughter, with you by my side, I can't go wrong. So let's go beat up those boys and their ding-dongs. <laughs> grab your saddle and grab your pack. Grab my pack. Get your satchel with your rations on your back. Got it on. Get your saddle and ride it good. We've got to free these women from their mood. Ooh, our sisters ride into the night. Oh, yeah, our sisters ride into the night. We're hungry now for a fight. Sisters ride and all the night. Oh, sisters ride and all the night. Yeah, sisters ride and all the night. Better get down, cause we're hungry for a fight. Cause sisters ride into the night. Grab our ponies, Lucy and Stu. We're gonna ride the whole night through. Grab your whips and your collars as well. We got some men we're gonna teach how to sail. Yeah, they won't believe their butts, cause we're gonna beat them back like Casanovas. We're gonna make sure we do it over when we make them be the ones who yeah. Sisters riding into the night. Well, I don't know what to tell you, sisters. As mayor of this town, the first ever female mayor of Rotterdam, I've got no power. This place is under martial law. Those two brothers, Jim and Roger, not only are they lecherous, but they've got influence with their brothers in arms. How many brothers do they have? <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> One more than you. What oh, are we no. going to do? Fran, we should, we should have brought Shooting Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we only send two of the Terrible Twelve? Is that the one who keeps shooting really high up on that hill over yeah, there? Yeah, <laughs> just shooting at the moon. One day she'll hit. Well, uh, I hate to say it, but I think this is going to be some sort of underground overthrow. We're going to have to, you know, equip all of the town's women. Is there some sort of meeting place that you guys know well? Where we could arrange a nighttime rendezvous? Well, this whole land is so sand in. Uh... Wait, what's that? It's shooting Susie. She's shooting into the air like crazy. <laughs> There's nothing around here that... Wait, what's that? that? It's the bullets from her guns. <laughs> They've just landed on that there <gasps> cactus. <laughs> oh. That's oh. my cactus. I planted that there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's the, the start beautiful. of my farm. Well, I'm so, I'm so impressed by you, fearsome Fran. They should call you Flowery Flan. 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 She's a big dessert Flan. Because you bake up the best plants there are. Bake up the plants into the nicest desserts. Well, shall we meet at the cactus? Meet at the cactus. In the dead of night. It's frightening because you might get pricked. Meet of the cactus. When you hear the howl. But at the end of the day, we're the dogs that cut sicked. Meet of the cactus. In the dark. Go near where the thistles come out. Meet of the cactus. By the light of the moon. If we get pricked, it'll be too soon. Meet of the cactus. With your arms. We're gonna get on my cactus farm. Meet the cactus. Ready to fight. Meet in the middle of the night. Meet the cactus. You ready to fight? Yeah, I'll be going there and showing them my bites. Meet the cactus. By the moon's glow. Yeah, they're gonna know what hit him. Whoa, whoa. Meet the cactus. Meet the cactus. Cactus, oh yeah! Me the cactus, me the cactus. So Satanistic men don't have a prayer. Me the cactus, me the cactus, me the cactus, oh yeah! Me the cactus, me the cactus. Lecherous men don't have a prayer. 
Me to the cactus. Well, you're with stealth. You can find a world of wealth. Me to the cactus. It's gonna be great. We're gonna make sure we set a death date. Me to the cactus. Me to the cactus. Me to the cactus. Oh, yeah. Me to the cactus. Me to the cactus. The lecherous men don't have a Well, 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 looky here. Looks like someone spilt a little bit of yummy beer on their white blousey. Are you talking to me, Roger? Of course not, Jim. I'm talking to this here Lulu. Just turned 23 today. Well, hey there, mister. You back off. I don't want anything to do with this this house. <laughs> oh, come on, Lulu. Who's going to pay the bills if you don't have a job here? But I'm a good waitress. You're I don't a terrible a... waitress. You've spilt it all over your top but I don't mind. You knocked it on me. I can carry 11 bottles on my head. <laughs> 11 bottles. What All right, th- we'll see it. <laughs> One, two... I don't know, Rod. Did you ever get three, bored of <laughs> sitting in this four, house the whole time and watching women put five, beers on their heads just we'll to prove the point? Do you? I'm starting to think maybe I am. <laughs> no, not Nine, me. I love it. 10, 11. <laughs> well, well, well. Can you do it standing on one leg? Oh, my gosh. One. I mean, we've been watching two, p- women put beers on their three, heads for nine, four, 19 months now. Five, I, mean, I, six, I, I mean, I'm the master of the seven, mouth as much as I'm master of the house. Well, you've never had any way with me in your ten, petty little words. Ten, the only thing I care about is blouses <laughs> <laughs> and the wolf. Secrets that lie beneath. Well, you've never gotten into this secret. Smash, 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 smash. Well, that's it. Come here, you. Oh, man. 11 beers wasted. That's <laughs> terrible. It is a trap. Martial law, get in here, boys. <gasps> oh. Well, we go. <laughs> it kind of gets crazy in here with all 13. Why, why are you all wearing hoods, boys? Why are you all wearing hoods and sounding much more masculine than normal? Wait, hang on a minute. There's not 13 here. Yeah, there's only 12. There's only 12 of <gasps> That's right. Oh my That's God. right. Just rip that hood right. Off. Boys, what happened to our boys? I've taken care of them, gorilla style. What, you mean you put them out in the palm leaves? They don't call them a deadly dollar for nothing, and they're going to be some sweet-ass fertilizer for fearsome friend's new cactus She's farm. She's gone and killed them. She outshot our best men. Oh, and- no, not, not Flingy Steve. Flingy Steve and Shooty Gary. <laughs> that is unacceptable. You know what else is... Injustice. What's that? Gentlemen, I think it's time you took a seat. Well, why, I'm... Why, why would we take a seat? I don't understand. <laughs> sit down, Roger. Sit down, James. I'm, I'm right standing down, up man. in the pants, as I can see. That's disgusting. That is an unsolicited... That's, what? I'm not afraid of you pretty little things. Sit down, man. Sit down. It's time for you to learn. Sit down, man, sit down. Your lessons is time to earn. Shh. Here's your collar and get Ow. in line. Oh. Whoa, you're strong. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, getting handy, aren't ya? It's time you took a seat right now. All those collars will get real tight. Lap dance, is it? Go on. You got to respect R-E-S-P-C-T You gotta respect You gotta listen to me You gotta respect You gotta R-E-S-P-C-T You gotta respect You gotta listen to me You gotta respect You gotta R-E-S-P-C-T You gotta respect You gotta listen to me You gotta respect You gotta R-E-S-P-C-T You gotta respect You gotta listen to me Listen to me, I know you think I'm poor, but I got money to buy more martial law. Sure, you took out 13 of my greatest men, but I'll hire them again and again and again. 
you'll think that this is gonna keep you happy for the rest of time. Sure. All that money in the world can't buy you what you really need, brains. That's yeah. mine. Oh, four. And I'm telling you right now, we sisters have got you beat. So it's time to just back down and sit down and take a seat. Cause you gotta Cause respect, you gotta RSPCT. You gotta respect, you gotta listen to me. You gotta respect, you gotta RSPCT. You gotta respect, you gotta listen to me. You gotta respect, you gotta RSPCT. You gotta respect, you gotta listen to me. Take a seat, brothers. Oh. On the cactuses I grew underneath your bottom. <laughs> wow, how'd you do that? That's some really handy work. Oh, Fran, I'm so proud of you. You found a way to help the people, to punish those who are doing wrongdoing, and grow cactuses Ooh, for a good cause. At the call. same time. <laughs> good cause. I never knew that the best way to grow a cactus was right under an evil man's ass. <laughs> well, it's actually pretty impressive seeing you lot in action. And by that I mean in action, not in action. Because obviously you were in action. Well, good to hear that you're sitting down and having a good old listen there, showing some respect. The thing is, I suppose in my way I was actually restricting the ability for the, p- the women around me to do exactly what you've done. To grow and thrive like a pointy cactus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> pointy cactus is right on my bottom. I can feel it growing and thriving right now. Oh boy, yep. <laughs> right up there. Ooh, when the patriarchy is a thorn in your side, it's time to turn a new leaf. You can find a better way. It just takes self belief. And even when something's poisoned and sharp on the outside, <laughs> then you can put something pointing and sharp on their inside. Whoa! 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 Women! Whoa! 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 Women! There were. One more prick, just so sharp, gonna make you finally the duck. Just a little prick can't bother you anymore. Just step right through a brand new open door. Whoop, whoop, whoop. sure for that suggestion a very uh feminist tale of uh thought the thorns in your side and uh everyone's rushing out to buy their whips to call it's kind of funny. <laughs> i mean i think that was the, the way like it was just uh 
little bit of martial violence back, martial yeah. law, right back. Bit of a taste of your own medicine, uh, Roger and Jim. What a horrible character to play. <laughs> yes. um, but uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If you'd like to suggest your own title, like Madeline, you can head on to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can do it through our website. And if you want to become a patron like the awesome Nathan Burgerbest, then you can sign up as well. Um, <laughs> but until then, why don't you celebrate the women in your life, lift them up, listen, show some respect, and remember this song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Whoa, 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 women.